Hello folks, how are you doing today? We are back with another Trading View Tarot card session. Premise of these videos and readings, whatever you want to call it, is incredibly simple. Take this deck here, this is the Trading View Tarot card deck, which is just a normal tarot card deck that we have meticulously crafted to reflect market and financial meanings and, well, cards and predictions. And what we'll do with them, very simple, I'll shuffle them to show you that I'm not up to anything funny, that this is a true and authentic reading for the week ahead. I'll pull those three cards out of the deck, put them over there, and you will, as I say, get this reading for the week ahead. Of course it's not, it, they're cards on the table, they don't really mean anything more than that. It's just a bit of fun, and certainly not financial advice, so don't do anything silly, um, otherwise my legal department will be um, on me about it. But let's, uh, let's cut to the chase and get to it, shall we? All right, so the first is the nine of commodities. Now the nine of commodities is very much about the crowd. There is a there is a lot of choices ahead. There, there, there is a, it's crowded with either assets or choices. There's this idea that there is a plethora of things to pick from, and it's not immediately clear what should be picked or how to navigate through it. Now it can be that it's like the wood for the trees here. That there is a lot of lot to unpick, a lot to navigate through. So we've got we've got a bit of a maze here. We've got a bit of a myriad of things that we we need to navigate through. And then we have the inverted two of commodities. Now the inverted two of commodities, well let's start with the, the upright two of commodities. The upright two of commodities is very much looking on a global scale. It's a very much about looking at this idea that, that things are gonna happen across the world and you're gonna be able to see and see these changes sweeping in on a very macro scale. The inverted, by contrast, looks at something that is very localized, something that is very regional, that it pertains to you, it pertains to your, your specific portfolio, it pertains to just a small group of assets, um, nothing wide, nothing on a market level. This could be something as small as um, just one or two companies that share a very similar business model, or it could be slightly wider, such as like an industry, like, I don't know, like EVs, for instance. And then finally, we have the Knight of Futures, and the Knight of Futures is very much about a bold move, that something is going to happen where one, a business is going to take the initiative and jump through and cut through, uh, and is, you know, the Knight of, knight of Valor here, that they're going to really attempt to do something a little bit daring, and yeah, daring is the word, daring is really the word here, that this asset is going to do something big and is going to do something new and is going to do something daring. And there's risk to that. It's not just going to be an easy win. They're just going to do like, that's it, they're instant riches. There could be failure here as well, but the, the important point is to stress is that it's brave and bold. And not, as we know, when companies do something or, or any asset does something brave and bold, um, then you can have very outsized returns, but you can also have some big failures. You know, the greater the risk, the greater the reward. And so if I was to read all of this together, I would say we've got a myriad of different choices or assets to pick from. I'm not quite sure which one it is. Very much within one area. So let's say, let's keep with our EV example, for instance. There is a number of EV companies. It's very specific just to them, but one of them, one from your portfolio, one from something that you're looking at, will leap to the fore, that it will make a choice. We don't know if it's going to be a good choice or a bad choice. It could go disastrously wrong, but it could go pretty good. Um, and so that that is going to happen in this week ahead. And so really have a look through, have a, in, have a whatever you're focusing on, then maybe there's something within that specific set. And out of that, there's going to be this person that's going to take that bold move. That's how I read it. Could be completely different, could be completely made up. It probably is. But would love to know what you, you think it is. What do the cards tell you? Leave a comment in the comments below. Or if you're enjoying these Trading View Tarot card sessions, then why don't you hit the subscribe button and also give it a like. We want to hear your feedback. We want to know what you think of these because the more feedback we get, then the better shows we can make for you in the future. But that's it. That is all done for the week. And next week, We'll see you again.